Hi, the problem of today is about inscribing a square in a triangle. But there is one constraint. Two of the square vertices must lie on the on one side of the triangle. So, as we don't know how to inscribe the square, we will have to do a bit of research. So, we will start to see how we can inscribe rectangle. So, let's take one point. And then, I will draw some perpendicular take the intersection, make another perpendicular, and so forth. So I have to do one time now. As you can see, up, I have a rectangle here, here, which is inscribed, and this rectangle follows the constraint. Now, we will have a look at all possible rectangles. As you can see, we have two edge cases. The one where the rectangle is thin and it is blended on the height. The other one is blended with the base. So if we look at the center of this rectangle, there is something interesting. So I will uh, shift a bit dot e, e, sorry. So if we look at the center, it seems that he is moving on a line. Okay, so. I will indicate the center. It will be easier to follow. Center is here. So if you look at this dot, you see it draw it draw a line. And if you look, the line starts at the middle of the base and ends at the middle of the height. So I can draw one point which is the middle of this, the base, and I have to draw the height. So this is the height, and I will take the middle of the height, and now I can connect the two middles, this with this. You can see that the center of the rectangle is on this line. And if I move the dot, as expected, all the centers are on the segment. So now we will uh, erase uh, this. We don't need it anymore. Up. So now we, we have the locus of all the center. The other thing we know is that uh, square um, the diagonal of a square make a 90 degree angle. So we will try to make the locus of all squares that are possible. So um, we will take a random dot. So this one seems good. And as the diagonal of the square make a 90 degree angle and due to, t to the constraint, we know that we we should have a 45 degree angle with the base so this is 90 degree so if i take the bisector i have my 45 degree then this is one corner of my uh, of my rectangle i will take the opposite the opposite uh, corner that is I link that to that and I get a point here so if this is one corner of my rectangle this is the opposite corner but I want to have uh, the, the square with a corner on this side so I know also that if I have a rectangle with that corner the other is that point too. So I can link these two points. So that line is the locus of all opposite corners. And that line cross here. So this is one opposite corner which lies on the side. So this is one one side of our square. So we are all done because if we, an, we have one uh, one uh, vertice, we can draw all the other. So the only thing to do is to make complete the drawing. 
that it here there is a, a point and we will be able to check that what I said is true so we should have our center on this one And that is, you see, that the center of our square is on, the, on that line. It's by definition. So that's it. It's solved. We can move and see that the square remains the same. So uh, a question which arises with that is, uh, which is the biggest square? So I is it the square? We're on that base or that base or that base and to answer that it's easy in fact if you look only the 8 will change the the square area you see if I if I modify this the length of the base change but not the 8 and the square s remain the same exactly the same ah, exactly if yes exactly and if i move the 8 the square is changing so only the 8 is important so i guess that the square the biggest is on this side since the 8 uh, is bigger thank you for watching